Valkyze, who are two points out in front, and Vikings A, they know that if they win by four clear goals or more against the bottom side Ramsey A tomorrow, then they will be crowned champions once again. Sam, a thrilling end to a thrilling season. Yeah, it's been an unbelievable season with uh, a ton of ups and downs as well as the season's gone on. I mean, the start of the season, I was saying that back as Ladies A, you're going to be relegation candidates. And right now they're sitting there in second place. And at the end of last weekend, they were sitting top of the league until midweek. So yeah, I've been made to eat my words a lot more than I would have liked with this league because it's just been so up and down. Three weeks ago, you would never have imagined Vikings Ladies A being in a position to win the league. Um, and even when I talked to a few of them, they didn't believe they themselves, really, especially after the loss to backers, that they would be in a position to fight for the title on the final day. So if, what a turnaround from them. If you look at the goals scored, you've got Valkyres and Vikings A both scoring 19 each. Backers Ladies A and Castan Ladies A, 18 each. So it's been a really, really tight league. And two points separates first and fourth. All Vikings need to do this weekend, though, I say all Vikings need to do, there is a bit of confidence there that they can do it as win by four clear goals, as you said. doesn't matter if it's 10-6 or 20-16. doesn't matter as long as it's by four clear goals. They will come away with the title on account of the fact they'll have scored more goals than Valkyries. I mean, it's not been rare for you to hear, listening at home to the classified results check, that Vikings have won by 10 goals in the past. But does the pressure of this weekend, knowing that they need to win and win big, put that uh, few doubts in the mind of a lot of people listening and also the players as well because the pressure really is on. The thing is, Vikings seem to thrive on pressure. Um, when they lost to Backers A, there was, uh, you know, everybody considered them defeated. Everybody considered them uh, the, not title challengers. So there wasn't really any pressure there for them. Now, there is a ton of pressure for them. They can, they can win the league tomorrow and they'll thrive on that and they will go out there to achieve what they need to do to do it. If you look back to the mixed, they needed to win by three clear. The mixed A team needed to win by three clear goals, and the core of that ladies A team were present in that mixed A team that did it on the final game of the final day of the season to win the title for the first time in 30 years. So no doubt in my mind, Vikings A can do it. We'll find out tomorrow about five o'clock. I mean, it was five-one in the reverse fixture to Vikings A. That's a good omen for them. I think when you say everybody wrote them off I don't think that is the case it certainly made their job a lot harder with the points deduction but they have the quality and they've shown why they are the best team in Manx hockey for so long so they will be confident I'm sure heading into this one but it's Vikings A against Ramsey A in the PWC Women's Premier League Vikings A know what they have to do if they win by four clear goals they retain that PWC Women's Premier League crown for yet another season a remarkable achievement if they can do it if they don't then Valkyrie A will win the championship and it will head to the West